Welcome. All right, so in this problem, what I'm um, asked to do is to go ahead and graph my linear equation using slope-intercept form. So you can see I have slope-intercept form written right up there, where y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. So it's very important for us when we're providing an equation in slope-intercept form, or even if it's not in slope-intercept form, to put in slope-intercept form, if that's the way we want to graph it. Maybe I talked a little too fast. Sorry. Um, but we want to be able to identify what exactly the slope is and the y-intercept. So the slope is equal to m, right? So in this case, my slope is negative 2 over 5. Now, the negative 2 over 5, we'll get to um, that a little bit because the 2 could be negative or the 5 could be negative. And then my y-intercept. Now, remember, the y-intercept is a point, all right? So a lot of times we say, yeah, b is your y-intercept, but it's actually a coordinate point, which is 0 comma b. So in this case, my y-intercept is going to be, uh, my y-intercept is going to be 0 comma 3. So now, all I simply need to do, if I'm going to graph in slope-intercept form, is first I need to have a coordinate axis. So I'll have my y-axis here and my x-axis here. So now to go and graph, the first thing we want to do is plot my y-intercept. So I go up to 0, 3, which is 1, 2, 3, and I make a nice big dot. Okay? So that's my point 0, 3, which is my y-intercept. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, the slope to find them in my next point. And the negative sign gets a lot of students confused, but I want to make sure you're okay with negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 4 over 2, which is equal to 4 divided by negative 2. So where the negative sign actually is, is not going to, here, let's put it like that, is not really going to change anything. So, but remember, slope, which a lot of times we write as our y rise over run, um, as well as maybe our change in y over change of x. So I'm going to put the negative 2 up top, and we'll go and find our next two points. So therefore, the change in the y value is negative 2. That means from my point at my y-intercept, I'm going to go down 2. And then the change in the x is positive 5. That means since the change is positive, I'm going to go to the right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to go down 2 since the change in the y-coordinates is negative. So I'm going to go down, and then I'm going to go over 5. Now, let's pretend my slope was positive 2, negative 5. Well, then my change in my y is positive 2, so I'm going to go up 2. And then my change in my x is negative, so I'm going to go to the left 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So negative 2 over 5. And what you'll see is these points, doesn't matter um, in which direction I go into, I'm still going to create a straight line. Um, but therefore, all we need is to do that once, because then we'll have our straight line. And that is how you graph an equation in slope-intercept form. Thanks.